Police officers lined the streets of New York City to mourn slain officer Jason Rivera, killed in the line of duty one week ago. We love you. Please always protect us. Your big brother's very, very proud of you. Mommy's proud of you. Poppy's proud of you. Dominic is proud of you. We love you. I said to you, wake up, baby. I'm here. The little bit of hope I had that you would come back to life just to say goodbye or say I love you one more time had left. Yeah, just heart-rending statements. Officer Rivera and his partner are among four officers fatally shot in the line of duty this year alone. About seven times as many have been injured by gunfire. In just the past 48 hours, three were wounded in this broad daylight shootout in Houston. Another shot in a chaotic encounter in Milwaukee in which the suspect stole the officer's squad car. And in St. Louis, a young police officer now clinging to life shot in the stomach while pursuing an SUV believed to be connected to a murder. With us now, the former St. Louis County Chief of Police, Tim Fitch. He is now a county councilman chief. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Briefly, we're not going to give the name of the St. Louis police officer who was injured. We just want to know, Chief, do you believe that he is going to survive these injuries? Well, I will tell you, Trace, it sounds promising at this point based on all the information that I have heard. It was not promising when he was wheeled into Barnes Jewish Hospital and those medical professionals there just did a tremendous job to save his life. Uh, but from what I understand, he's not out of the woods yet. Uh, well, our best to him, Chief, and his family. I just want to put this up on the, on the screen because this is from the New York Times last summer, and I think it's very critical to read this. It says a survey of about 200 police departments then indicates that retirements were up by 45 percent, resignations by 18 percent in the period between April 2020 and April 2021 when compared with the preceding 12 months. You look at those numbers, Chief. You now look at what many are calling a war on police. This is not going to help rebuild our police departments across the country. Absolutely not. Uh, as those numbers are, are pretty staggering, we're not able to backfill those those positions. I know just in my now former department alone, about a thousand officer department, uh, there's more than 75 vacancies right now. And we're having very little interest in having individuals join our department. And I know that's going on around the country as well. This will continue to increase. Uh, this lack of wanting to get involved in law enforcement. And it's really, there's a, there's a really good sole reason for this happening, and it's called reform prosecutors. That's what we're seeing in the St. Louis yeah. metropolitan area and all around the country. And we hear that again and again. And I, you know, I point not just to this war on cops, the targeting of police officers, but also respect level. And I point things out like during a vigil this week, Chief, for officers Jason uh, Rivera and Wilbert Mora, who, who died in the line of duty. During that vigil, six police cruisers had their tires slashed. I mean, it's just a lack of respect we are seeing across the country. That's true. In, in, in St. Louis, our two officers that were tragically shot in the line of duty on Wednesday, it happened in Ferguson. Uh, I, my office is right outside the door where the shooting happened. Yeah. And really, this started in Ferguson. A lot of this started in Ferguson, as you remember, the Michael Brown situation. And I will have to tell you that the uh, situation has not improved since then. Yeah. Lastly, Chief, I just want your your take when you read things from this week from Black Lives Matter saying, you know, just because police officers are shot does not make them a hero. I mean, what do you think when you read things like that uh, around the media? How could anyone see that video from Houston and not say those officers chasing this guy down weren't heroes? Remember, they had been wounded and they were still chasing this individual down. So to say that they're not heroes, uh, that's just tone deaf is what that is. Uh, St. Louis City Councilman, former police chief Tim Fitch. Chief, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Trace. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.